So finally, it's working. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> the kids were just uh, remembering your voice. Oh, that's so nice. I miss them, by the way. I miss them so much. Yeah, the kids has grown. Calby's there. Can I say that sound too? Say hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My guy. Papa Troy. My guy, Papa Troy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Uh -huh. My guy, sing for me. My guy, my guy. My name is Bum Bum. Bum Bum. Papa Chua. Papa Chua. <laughs> So yeah, I was saying I thought you were even uh, uh you were talking about Auntie's iPhone. Yeah. I yeah. was so so excited. So so much excited. She's very happy by the way because she saw the quality of iPhone. Okay, now enough yeah. to go play. It's a lot more different from uh, other mm. phones. You know how it is today yeah. we took the iPhone because we went mm. out and then I said, Auntie, let me take photos of you and after she saw the photos, she checked it and she's like, Ah, the way it is so clear. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's I was, iPhone always. Yes, I told her that is how iPhone works. Even after eight years, it will be amazing like that. Yeah. So, Auntie got an iPhone 13. So, even if it's seven years from now, it's not that bad. You yeah, know, true. it's a bit updated still because we are still having 13 right now, 14 and 15. So, um, Auntie will be using that one for her vlogging now, but she has to be careful with it. Yeah, and like, like uh, she was like telling me that, that uh, Joseph, I'm now practicing to learn my iPhone, but will you help me? I was like, please, no. <laughs> you must learn for yourself. <laughs> yes, that's true. She will learn. It's okay. So at first, it will be hard, but when you're yeah, used true. about iPhone, it will be very easy. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Yeah, so she's very happy. I thought you're even using iPhone the way your photos and videos are very clear. No, I have Samsung. Samsung S10 Plus. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's good enough. But still, iPhone yeah. for me is like a camera, you know? Planning for that. Ah, that's good. That's why you cannot save for a ticket to Philippines because you're saving for iPhone. But, madam, <laughs> madam, I need to fly, like to be sincere. I want to fly, you know? You know what? I'll, gi I'll give you a bet. Auntie and I will be going back seeing you once again before you even come here. The way you are too slow. No way. <laughs> you better start, start building our <laughs> our house there at Auntie's village. No, no I, I'll build one in the Wundibujo. Reserved for Princess Yiga and the hey, family. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. You should do that, by the way. You better start. Yes, self-contained. Everything there. So, <laughs> so, have you ever visited Kampala once again? Did you ever go back to Kampala, see Sarah, or what? I'm, I'm going to Kampala in March. That's the what plan. Are you, what's your business what are you, what's there, your business? if I may ask? I'm going to meet Aunt Sarah again with Uncle Hood. Yeah. That's good. And then Timothy. That's good. And Timothy. That's good. All right. Yeah, I'm planning to see Timothy very soon. Joseph, you better, you know what to do. Hello! Daddy! <laughs> Me, John, John, John. Go ahead, go ahead. Madam. Hi. He, he's our radio presenter, one of the best presenters we have in the district. Oh, hello, 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 hello. How are you? How are you, madam? I'm okay, thank you. Me love you, this is my young brother. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, yes, he's one of the of our radio presenters in we have in Wundibujo, and uh, he's the best, one of the best. I thought you're the best. Uh, he's my mentor. He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good, Joseph. Yeah. Okay, other than that, other than your vlogging, what keeps you busy then? 
Uh, like, uh, what keeps me busy most, most of the times, like, I'm always monitoring my businesses, uh, my guys of Chapati, yeah? Yeah, how's the Chapati business going? I was so surprised that uh, you started one on your own. I know it's very, it's not easy. It's not a surprise that, you know, I'm just surprised because I know it's not easy. How is it, um, how is it treating you? Yeah, it's good because right now I'm also having another, another stall already, the second one. But wow, I, I that's open good. It very soon. That's good. Yeah. Because how, uh, how do you monitor your sales? So like uh, I have to give the guys uh, like let's say the flour, like everything, and then uh, every every week they have to submit for me seventy thousand. Seventy. Yeah. Every week. Every week seventy. So meaning that on both of the stalls, if there are two right now, that is one hundred and forty every week. So what do you provide in exchange of seventy thousand per week? Like me, me, I have to buy everything that I need to use. Let's say the flour, uh, the cooking oil, the beans. Like I have to provide everything for them. For the week. No, no, not for the week. Like it's like opening up, uh, let's say, uh, opening up a new business with everything stocked up there. So me, I'm only getting the profits back, but everything is ready there. So who's going to buy the ingredients again once it's over? No, like uh, when when they are over, there's some money reserved from my guys, mm. the one who are working. Okay, the money that they have, they, have, they mm. will just buy this, the just ingredients buy again, the then for you, you just, yes. for you, just um, receive the profit cleanly every week. 70,000 is going to it rains or shine, 70,000 yes. must be going to you. Yes, every week. Even if it rains, even if they don't sell a lot, they, they have lot. to pay 70. They to pay 70. They, like, they have to do all means. The yeah, I understand that type of... I understand the type of business we call them um, uh, in, uh, the investor. So mm. it's like you are the investor, and um, yes. as you put your money, as you invest your money, some percentage of that must go back to you every single month. Okay, I get it. Yes. Mm, yeah. So because, now you have two like, stores. Because like, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not having two stores, but hoping to get like five. Mm. Where, but if I get if I get like five stores. Whereby I'll be, I'll be earning 1.4 every month. Every month. And who is owning the stores? I mean, who owns the store? It's me. It's me who owns every, the, everything. You rent, like, I'm the, you boss. rent the store? No, like, I, I have to get a room. I rent it. And then I buy everything that is required to be used. Okay. And who, who do you put there to take care of the shop and cook chapati? I have to get a guy that I trust to put there. All right. And how is it working for you so far? Working well? Yeah, it's very good, madam. Good. How long How long has it been running? Uh, the fastest stall has been running from November till date. That was the fastest stall. And then uh, next week, I'm opening up the second stall officially. Okay. If that works, if that works for you and you find that business, you know, decent and... Uh, good money and good clean, money, money, clean money, then that mm. should be good. I know that kind of um, of technique in doing business. It's not bad. Um, I think it's quite fair for those who are yeah. doing the work and we yes. will take care of the shop. And um, they don't have to put any money at all. They just have to use their skill. Yeah, true. And I think it's even better because it will make them like, you know, make sure they sell a lot. Yes, true, true. Because they have to make sure they give you 17 a week and the rest 70. of the Yes. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's great. That's great. I can see Auntie Sarah is watching. <laughs> oh, Sarah Pedun, hello. Hi, hi, yeah. hi, Sarah. Sarah. Oh, by the way, guys, while you are here, Joseph, you advertise your channel. Oh, guys, like, thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't checked on my channel, it is Travel with Joseph Uganda. Please kindly go subscribe on my YouTube channel, go watch all my videos, and please do not skip the ads. Sarah Pedun, Tulia Mere, uh, Princess Jen Yiga, uh, Travel with Joseph Uganda, and all family. I think you know all our family, guys. So keep on supporting us. We really appreciate your love and support. Madame Someone is Sarah asking Matko. here, why, Joseph, you're not uploading anymore every day? What's your answer to that? Uh, every day, okay. Uh, the fact is, guys, like, uh, to be open and sincere, 
I'm always doing some videos, but still I have, be, I have to be doing some other work at home because I'm the elder brother at home. And so I have to be there for my mom, guys. I can't just leave uh, uh, doing some other work when I'm also there. So I yes, I understand. Money. There are also some days it's impossible to really put up, a, put up your story because something yeah. is happening, you know. Sometimes for me, I just have a lot have happening a lot in one day and I cannot do it anymore. But uh, we try, we try, because um, yeah. people really are curious about our story, what we do in a day. Especially for you, Joseph, who are still in Uganda, they are looking forward for your content. Keep it, uh, you know, keep the quality going. I think the, the latest upload you had was when you traveled in the boat. No, it's culture, culture, culture dances. Oh, yeah, cultural dances. That's good. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and, and currently, uh, kids are going back to school, and I'm hoping to do some uh, some vlog about that shopping, how they're going back to school. Mostly, there's my brother who goes, uh, he is he, studying away from our district, mm. whereby he got someone sponsoring him. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So by by tomorrow Monday, he's, he has to go back to school, and I'll be taking him by myself. Someone is sponsoring him. What do you mean by that? Did a Filipino sponsor him? No, like he got someone. He's uh, there's there's a guy who came in Uganda. Oh. They are, it's it's an Arab family. Yeah. So they came in our community, and my brother was sharp, like very sharp in responding to their questions. Though he was though he's young. Hmm. He's 11 years old. Mm. But the guy was very sharp in responding to them, uh, taking them around the community. So they sponsored him. To, a, to an Islamic school, though we are Christians, but they sponsored him to an Islamic school whereby he's, he's studying from there. They're providing everything, but it's me to buy the uh, the books, uh, the uniform, but the, with uh, school fees or the tuition, they are paying for him. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. All right, that's good right. news. That's good news. So what's your plan for this year, 2024? Let me even ask you, what's your milestone on your board? milestone you want to hit this 2024 2024 the first thing is i want to travel to hidden places that i've never been to in uganda mm. <laughs> and, then, and then auntie you know what auntie uh, said you know what auntie, auntie said, said like uh -huh. this, auntie hmm. said like this. <laughs> she had that face she, she doesn't believe you uh, i know her very well but the problem with her she knows me when i mean something i have to do it <laughs> and he said, hmm. Uh huh. Number two. Okay. Num uh, uh, the first thing is traveling. And then, number two, uh, is someone talking in the background? No, it was just my kids and my, my, my kids and uh, my, my brother, my younger brother. I Oh, I want to travel so like, with my younger brother there, but uh, my problem is we are, when we're going back there, we have to stay there for quite some time. Mm. Travel Uganda, you know, teach the kids some culture and living and all that, um, all the traditional way of, okay. you know, Africa. yeah, of Africa, because you can't experience that here, but um, I'm not sure if my brother has the time because he's still studying. But we're hoping he's going to graduate next year. Then oh, we can take him around, like the safari and everything, you know. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, uh huh. What's your yeah. other milestone other than traveling the hidden places in Uganda? Make sure because we are watching. Yeah, yeah. You know, you guys, the guys are watching. Then another thing is like, I want to fly. Like, the, I had there are some countries that don't need visa. Yeah, like Philippines. Visa. <laughs> but then um, mm. you also have African countries. They won't ask you for visa if you're Uganda. Yeah. Not so. Yeah, yeah, there, there. That's that's Kenya. I had Kenya also announced about that. So you plan to travel the neighboring countries of Africa? Yes, the neighboring countries in Africa. That's Kenya. Then We're talking about goes... 2024 milestone. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Next, yeah. number three. Number three. Number three. Uh, still owning some good businesses by this year. As mm. I told you that I want five, I, I want five stalls. Inshallah, if yeah. God wishes, yeah. we shall achieve them. Okay, because Auntie and I will surprise you in Bundibudjo. Make sure by that time you have five shops. 
I, I, I have a room for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's named Joseph Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Airbnb, the Airbnb business is actually catching up. It's not as fast, um, but it's actually working thanks, thanks to um, my manager who's, work, uh, who's taking care of the property. But my home is speak and span. It's, uh, it's all taken care of and everything. So Airbnb can work. I'm not sure if it's going to work where you are with the number of tourists no there, right? No, in in Ivondibujo, I know it cannot work. Maybe in, like in Fort Porto, Fort Porto is working very well, but in Ivondibujo. Okay. Anyway, we we cannot wait to uh, to see uh, Uganda, once Uganda once again. Someone uh, is like asking, uh, is that sorry, your husband? Sorry. Please. Someone is what? like asking. Uh huh. You, you can answer them. Is that your husband? Please know the answer is, I am the former, the current, and the long-lasting assistant. <laughs> So, mga nagtatanong po, if you are asking and if you are new to my YouTube channel, Joseph, Travel with Joseph, he was, he was my assistant when I was in Africa. He worked with me for seven months. So, his job was to take care of my gadgets, to make sure they are charged. Um, he goes with me wherever I go because he's the one holding the camera when I'm vlogging. He takes care of my appointments and everything. So, yeah, Joseph, that's what, that's was that was Joseph's that was job for seven job months. For seven months. Uh, we were able to get to know each other a lot because, like I said, he moved uh, with me wherever I go. Because Joseph is a local of Uganda, so he speaks the language, while I don't. So it's really good and comforting and, you know, gives me confidence to move out of the house because of my assistant, my former assistant, Joseph. No, she owns him. Duh! I think they are new in our YouTube channel. They don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait. Uh, Sarah Pedun is saying, you are also coming to my village, non-negotiable. By the way, that's one of my goal. Man and Sarah, mm. I really want to go visit your village. By the way, this time there will be no, uh, no more, how do you call this? Postpone. No postponing of the <laughs> No more postponing of the program. Yes. Straight deal. Yes. Yes, because yes. I, I plan to go see Joseph's place. I uh, I plan to see Sarah's place. I plan to see um, if we will be with Timothy, we can see Timothy's place. But like I said, inshallah, we shall see how it goes. But of course, we will always go back in Uganda, regardless of everything that changed or happened. Uganda is still our home. My kids are half Ugandan, half Filipino. So there is a... There's, there's always Uganda for us. Yeah, true, true. We, we always will come in Uganda, the pearl of Africa. Yeah, like I said, we will be there first before you be here. You have a lot of things in your plate right now. I'm not sure when are you going to reach the uh, Philippines. <laughs> but, madam, the fact is, yeah, mm. I want to feel this sound like, welcome to the land of the Philippines. This is the beautiful land for you. Please. <laughs> that, that's not how they say it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's like that anyway. They will feel welcome in the Philippines. But uh -huh. it's going to be a long, long flight. I told you, it's like uh, almost 24 hours. Eh? 24, 24. 40, 48? You told me 48? Yeah, with all the stops. Uh, but the ones that Auntie and I use, we just mm. use like 23 hours. Oh. Mm. Did Aunt sleep so much in the airplane? Ah, uh, she's, I think not so much. It was cold, you know how it is. Yeah. Your auntie is not used of the cold air conditioner and everything. But it's not her first time. She flew uh, the last time we went to Tanzania. So she yeah. know how it is. It's just that this time it's longer. Like you can be in the airplane for 12 hours. So you can sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up, and you are still up in the sky. Yeah. Oh, someone was asking, Joseph, you can read the question. It's just a single. <laughs> Guys, I'm always single and I'm still single. <laughs> Auntie said, Auntie said, mm. 
Guys, do not believe what Joseph said. The last time I was with him, he had a, he has a girlfriend. If not a girlfriend, I'm sure he has a wife. No, no, no. With wife, I don't have a wife, madam. And kids. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> man, do not yes, forget. Uh, do not forget us here. Try to call when you can. Try to talk to us when you can. Auntie is here. You can talk to Auntie. You can join live with Auntie. Chico, 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 look, my guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. My guy. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a picture. laughs> <laughs> Chico, can you sing for me, Chico? <laughs> Chico, sing for me, Chico. Chico is just being funny. Uh huh. Go. <laughs> uh huh. So now, now you have your business and all that. How are, how do you use your money? I always want to learn from other people. So how do you how how do you make the money grow? After collecting okay, like, collecting them from the business that you opened. Okay, like uh, like after collecting them from the businesses, I have to first save it on my bank account. Yeah, because like currently uh, I want to save more money, whereby I can still do something. Like um, my mom was like telling me something that I uh, maybe I can. My mom. Uh. She was like telling me that maybe uh, if I'm having an idea uh, of building up uh, some some rentals at home uh. because we have a space at home that is vacant whereby if I can get there some some boys quarters like uh, six rooms whereby I can build them up well designed but mm. uh, a mud house but of good quality okay and how yeah. how much do, do you think you can rent it out? Uh, just like uh, it can be like, like in the villages, it's all about like twenty-five or thirty. Ah, uh, twenty-five or thirty thousand. Month, because like okay. they said, the houses are very cheap. That's like three hundred to five hundred pesos, but still, auntie's place is cheap, cheaper. Imagine very, paying five thousand a month. <laughs> I, will request, uh, I will request. I will request auntie to build another toilet. <laughs> So when we stay there, we will not. We uh, will don't have to uh, what fall in line. Because uh, there's a big chance we will be staying at Auntie's place. Yeah. Okay, rental is a good idea. Rental is a good mm. idea. Yes, that's right. Mm. Besides, I think a lot of people there likes rental when they are cheap. Yeah, true. Okay, that's good. So you have you have uh, uh -huh. so you have that then you do vlogging then you do the chapati business and how's the goats Oh <laughs> the goats are doing very fine madam How are, uh, how many I, do you have now Uh we have 20 then we're having four the young ones yeah mm. We have four mm. Yeah we have four the young ones so Inshallah, I think by, by the month of uh, March, we may get like 30. Oh, that's good. Raquel is saying, Joseph is trick boy. Trick boy is a lot of women in your life. <laughs> Raquel. Please, I'm not. <laughs> he said he's not. But I will tell you the truth once the life is over. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Whatever Joseph says. Joseph says. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like uh, about my goat's business, like uh, by uh, by March, when I hit like thirty of them, I want to expand their house. Mm. Because uh, you know, like uh, whenever they grow, when they, whenever they they are becoming men, you have to expand the house. Mm. The goat's house, yeah. So, okay, like, yeah, you, you, you have to expand the house once the goats become many. But goat is a good business in Uganda. What do you yeah. do? Do you sell them for barbecue? No, like for, uh, for right now, uh, I don't feel like selling them off for now. For now, I don't feel like selling them off because I'm still having some good target. Yeah. 
Okay. But like in Uganda, but in Uganda, like mostly, uh, if you're having a good business, they're always sold. Uh, let's say if you're having a function, they may come and buy them at a good price because in my district, goats are like these are uh, the mature ones. They cost from two hundred fifty to three hundred. I know, I know. Goat is a good business in Uganda. It is a good yeah. business. Uh, yeah, that that's good. That's good, Joseph. At least you have something happening. You don't have to work for someone, really. Yeah. So mm. you are not planning of working for anyone. No, no. Mm. Turtles. But when I come back, then you will have to go back to work. To Kampala. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go back to work and Timothy needs to go back to work yeah we're always there for you madam because you really inspire so much and really you've made us yeah you've made us so even though you come back to Uganda I'll always be there for you that's good yeah. so don't marry don't marry yet <laughs> <laughs> In fairness naman guys, ha, mabait na mabait po yan si Joseph. I was telling everyone that you are a kind person and you were very patient with me. That's why I cannot let you go. I had to let you go when we had to leave Uganda. But uh, yeah. Joseph was very patient. He's a kind kid. He is a kind kid. Uh, he's a fast learner as well. Ayan. So I feel like uh, Joseph can still come back for his work whenever we go back to Uganda. I know it's just temporary but I know Joseph is willing to be there. Narinig nyo naman yan. Hindi ko na kailangan i-explain yan. Walang kapilitan. So even Joseph will tell you that when we are back in Uganda he will be back for uh, to, to work with me. So that's an amazing thing. That means that Joseph is um, happy kahit na pinapagalitan ko siya minsan dahil merong mga palpak. Ayun. <laughs> Hi, Remski. Joseph was so loyal to you, madam. Sometimes Thank he's not you. loyal. Sometimes he's lying to me. And then I find out from Auntie Christine. So I had to be no. mad at him. No, may, maybe maybe at times, like, uh, when I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, I was... Joseph is loyal to me, but what, not 100%. He's only loyal to me, like, 75. The 25% no, madam... he lies to me. 95. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, guys, I, uh, with Joseph around, uh, I feel quite safe because Joseph uh, deals with the local uh, in a good way. He's very patient. Kaya okay ako kung nakasama si Joseph. Kasi yung iba minsan mainitin ng ulo, minsan hindi marunong na makipag-usap sa tao. Pero si Joseph kasi marunong siya makipag-usap. So I was telling them that you know how to deal with people, how to talk to people. You are very patient. That's why I find it um, easier to move with you. You don't. You're not yeah. those um, impatient or always angry or that you know how to talk to people. You know, in Uganda, you can find a problem if you don't know how to. Yeah, deal true. With you may end up like boxing someone. <laughs> exactly. Hi, Jessie and Tina. Joseph, how are you? They said kamusta. Kamusta. Oh, kamusta. Kamusta? Hi, MG. <laughs> Hi, Joseph. I'm always watching you on TikTok. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Joseph, like I said, for you to be able to know what is your target, going to the Philippines, you need like you need like 1,500 US dollars USD. <laughs> yes, to come uh, here for vacation. Then if like, you uh, if you do that, you have to set uh -huh. the date when we are also going back there, so we travel at once. At once. Yes. But like the fact is like no, uh, I want to come and test that uh, the, the fish you have in the Philippines, because yeah. I, I saw Auntie Christine like you know, like you no know, eating. I was like, hey, guys, can't you send me something? <laughs> but Auntie, by the way, is good in trying our fish. There are some food that she cannot try until now. We have this exotic mm. food. The balot, you know, did she tell you about the egg that has a baby duck inside? When you open it, there's a duck with hair. She did tell me. <laughs> yeah, we call it balot. You check it balot, online, yeah. it's called balot. B-A-L-O-T. Okay. So, Auntie cannot, cannot get herself to try it, but at least she's trying other food, like different fish. Because here in the Philippines, we have a lot of fish. A lot. Yeah, yeah you told me. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, you have to work hard for it. Otherwise, 
A milestone will just be written on the board and not going to be scratched off. You have to scratch off your milestone. For me, my milestone was to open my shop and I'm so happy I did it. Yeah. I've been dreaming for that shop like forever. Yeah, actually, actually like I remember one time like you told me about that thing. You're like telling me that Joseph, I want to open up a shop in my town. Yes. So, like, like, so I did that. Was so happy. Mm. Then I wanted to travel with everyone and some of my family members. I did that also. So I'm very yeah, proud. I, saw... I traveled um, locally, but now I am praying and putting in my milestone to travel internationally with my family. Maybe I cannot take everyone, but I, I can take some, you know. Uh, then start. I started my shop, right? Joseph, are you there? Joseph was gone, you guys. Na wala na si Joseph. I think na off na yung kanyang Wi-Fi. Hi, you can try the cacao business from Uganda. Oh yes, yes. We are going to bring the machine to Uganda. Na wala si Joseph, guys. Pero anyway, magkamustahan kami ulit sa next natin na live. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng pumunta. Ayan. At uh, magpapaalam muna ako. Babalik tayo, tayo sa next na episode natin ngayong week. Sinisinok ako, guys. Uh, anyway, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng pumunta. Maraming salamat sa pagsuporta nyo sa amin. Maring Sara Pedun, Sara Pedun's YouTube channel. Joseph, Travel with Joseph, YouTube channel. Tulye Mele, Auntie Christine, and of course, Last Born the African, Timothy's YouTube channel. Maraming salamat once again, you guys. I'll see you on the... I'll see you on the next episode. Bye!